Hey, what is going on everyone? Vig here for Serpent X Tech and in this video we're preparing this S19K Pro for immersion cooling. We already have the Epic Control Board installed. We got the top cover off already because we need to remove the fans in order to properly immerse and cool this machine. The power supply is going to be the most difficult part. I haven't figured out quite yet how to get in there but I know this is the top cover that comes off and on the wet miner we had to disconnect the bus bar in order to do so maybe we could figure out a different way but two fans up front 7000 rpm two fans in the back uh 6000 rpm and then three power supply fans come out and because we already have an epic control board we can go ahead and tell it once all those fans are out that hey it's an immersion cooling cool check it out overclock tune it make it wonderful so let's get started on removing these fans and show you the final process so easily enough on the four fans the big boys there's just four screws for each fan we're going to go ahead and remove all four i do have a drill but i have a delicate finger so i make sure not to uh, strip or hurt the screws you know you just give it a little bit of torque and we're just going to go all four in the front or excuse me all eight in the front, all eight in the back, and then move on to the power supply where I will bring you back and we'll talk over how to do that or what the best way is because I might find something different here in just a moment. I forgot to mention in a previous video I showed you how to take off this top cover. There's just one screw on the back side that goes into this middle part right here. And then you push down on that, you're gonna lift up from the back side, not all the way, just enough, and then pull away from the front side of the ASIC and you'll be able to lift this cover off. Most of your cables are gonna be zip tied. I took off most of them except for this one right here, connected to the six pin going to the control board. So when you cut these wires, be extremely careful not to actually cut the wire itself, but remove that so that way we can get the fans disconnected. Now that you can see the rear fans are routing towards the back, which is why we gotta take off this top cover. And in order to do that, um, we're gonna to have to finagle some things around but it looks like we got maybe one screw right here no two screws it looks like for the top cover one there one there and maybe we should be able to take it off let's see what happens all right yep those two screws and we were able to pull the cover back and away and lift up just like so exposing the bus bar and the six pin connector uh, plus this little ribbon cable that goes to the control board trying not to strain those too much um, then uh, the cable that runs right here on the front fans routes to this little opening. Just be careful, right, because that's going to be pinched against the power supply cover. Uh, I just loosen up the screws enough to get that little connection out and moved from behind there. Uh, now we can go ahead and cut that zip tie very carefully and continue moving forward. And once you have that zip tie undone, you can actually just pull this cable out from underneath the bus bar here and just unscrew your four 120 millimeter server or ASIC fans. All right, so looking at the side of this thing, it looks like this shroud right here on the outside, on the outer edge, can actually come off. And we got one screw there because you could see how the metal turns in right where the screw is at, same thing for this middle one and this third one. So hopefully without disconnecting the power bar or the bus bar and the connection between the actual ASIC and the power supply, we might be able to lift this cover off ever so gently if we have any more screws. So there's another screw right there, another one there, another one there. So six total, three on the back and these three, and we might be able to lift this this section or this cover off the power supply like so attacking these fans and their connections so far so good once I got the screws off I put the flat head right here in this groove so between this uh, outer shell or inner shell and outer shell and then I just gave a little twist on the flat head on both sides top and bottom and now we should be able to very carefully pull this cover off. I want to be mindful not to bend these little brackets that elbow into the miner. So I'm going to pull a little bit from right there on that side and bam. There is your stock 5000 watt power supply. A lot of goo or protective sealant on the inside. Be careful working on this. I do not want any of you to get electrocuted 
If you do not know what you're doing, please stop now and reach out to a certified technician. Um, otherwise, just be very careful. These components can kill you um, because these are some big boys and you will get shot. So this thing is pure, not a single ounce of dirt on it. I freaking love it, it looks beautiful. Um, so now we just need to remove the screws for the fans here. And there's your fan connecting connections. And this thing, once put back together, is ready for immersion cooling. So let me take these fans, power supply fans off. As far as pulling these little connectors off, because there's a lip on either side, being very careful, obviously, I like to grab it with my finger. It's gonna make little indentions in your finger and it's gonna hurt, but I just wiggle left and right, right? So the connector right there that you see, um, just grab it on either side, wiggle left and right until it comes out. It is gonna hurt your fingers if your fingers are sensitive, but if not, just manhandle that thing or woman handle, whichever you prefer, and be very careful. So now we can remove these fans ever so elegantly, which is not working in my favor as I try to hold the camera. It looks like there's a lip or something. Oh no, it's hitting the, I see what's happening. It's hitting the PCB, the green PCB behind it. So, can we go this way? Nope, we can't go that way either. Interesting. So, can we take off this faceplate to get it out? I don't see why we would need to do that, but it's definitely hitting the PCB right back there. That's what's stopping us, so let's figure that out. All right, so what I found was to slide it up, and then I'm kind of pulling, right, bending this a little bit, not too much, just enough to where I can get my other hand in there and pull this sucker out. You just need to get a little bit and then pull up. It's a two-handed operation, but just bend this top corner because this is the, the part that's not structurally tied into anything. Um, and very carefully pry the fan out and you should be good. And now I am surrounded by pieces of this S19K Pro. Everything taken apart. We got our fans over here. We got our power supply fans with a protective shroud. These two screws are for the power supply shroud. Um, and then this one is for the top shroud. And I'm honestly considering leaving both of these off and just leaving it like this. Uh, because, you know, when it goes, gets dunked into the tank, you know, and I go to lift it out, all the liquid's just gonna get, you know, basically stuck inside these little hatches, I guess you could say. Eventually they would drain out, but I'm probably just gonna leave them off. Let me know in the comments if you think that's a bad idea or not and then I'm gonna put all of this into a Ziploc bag and then put the accessories into the original box that we got it uh, and store it for later but as far as tearing this S19 down whether it's the K Pro the XP the J Pros whatever they're basically all the same you got four main fans front and back that you need to take off follow the connection wherever it goes and make sure that if you do have zip ties connecting cables, that you cut very carefully not to cut the power wire or any of the wires in general. These are data, right? This is for the power supply and the control board to talk to each other. And this is for the control boards and the hash boards to talk to each other. You don't want to disrupt the data communication. Then, as far as the power supply goes, I mean, I'm sure some of these power supplies are a little bit different, but this one's very easy. You got three screws on the side, three screws on the back, you take them off, and like I said, put the flathead right here in this groove and twist both on the top and bottom and this cover will come off. Be very, very careful working in here, not to shock yourself, not to electrocute yourself. Charges can be held even after the device has been powered off for a while and just remove the screws for the fans, including the, the protective shrouds and disconnect the fans themselves from the green PCB that you see in there by elegantly twisting back and forth. And that is how you prepare an S19 for immersion cooling. Just make sure that I would recommend, if you didn't have an Epic control board from Epic Blockchain, to at least flash the firmware to Lux OS or Brains OS or Vanish or Bitbix or whatever you got to make sure that it's already capable of being controlled and told, hey, I am an inside immersion liquid I am not running off of fans because some of these devices can freak out, especially the what's miners, if it doesn't detect any fans and you might need some dummy adapters in order to trick the system into thinking 
that it has fans plugged in. And I do have dummy adapters if we really need it, but this Epic uh, control board should allow us to uh, circumvent that. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Please do me a favor on the way out, hit the like button, make sure to get subscribed, hit notification bell to stay up to date, and check out additional links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Just so you know, I put the shrouds back on because it adds a little bit more structural support on this side, connecting the power supply to the main chassis. And then also, it's just a good way to grab this unit and pull it out of the immersion liquid if I ever needed to in the future. So, quick update, I decided against it and put it back on. Mm -hmm.